you know it's time. IA Football is back, and we've got you covered with everything from the biggest hits to the biggest runs, from in game highlights to post game breakdown. We are here talking any and all high school football. From day one all the way to the dome, we've got you covered at IA Football. It is crazy to think that week nine is already here. I've got new rankings and a ton of content coming this week. Um, obviously, today, new rankings. Wednesday, we'll get locks and dogs. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to do a third episode this week, uh, some sort of postseason edition for 2A, 1A, A, and 8-man. Um, I'm going to get all of our rankers picks up on rocks in here mid this week. They they all want to take a stab at picking all the games going down on this Friday. Uh, still a ton of big games in 5A and 4A, so you guys will get a new poll as well. Uh, for, but for 2A, 1A, A, and 8-man, this will be the final uh, ranking we get um, for you guys before uh, our final one uh, after the, the state championship state champion winners are crowned so this will be the little number that's by your team as we enter the postseason not that it really matters at this point honestly i mean it's right now it's about winning uh those three games and getting to the unidome any way you can uh but as you as you can see uh drop us a like subscribe hit that little bell button again make it make a youtube account hit the bell button on our page completely free it'll send you notifications every time we post that way you don't miss a thing Let's get started, though. Um, we got a new number one in Class 5A. Valley obviously falling to Ankeny. Uh, a little shorthanded Valley was, but still, Ankeny gets a massive win. Uh, RPI comes out today, uh, probably around noonish. A big, big, big day for 5A, 4A, and 3A in terms of seeing the RPI with one week to go and kind of getting a better understanding of what you need to have happen. So we'll post those when that gets ripped up. Uh, those might be out by the time you're watching this. But Dowling Catholic. Back at number one, their lone loss is to Ankeny, uh, but they're up to number one. Bettendorf holds on in a crazy game against Prairie. Uh, they stay at number two. Linmar gets another uh, nail-biting win over Iowa City High. They jump up one spot to number three. Ankeny Centennial at number four. They get a nice win over Waukee Northwest. Uh, Valley at number five, obviously. Uh, number six, Iowa City Liberty gets a win over Waterloo West. Uh, they look good in that one. They are your number 16. Johnston uh, is, is solidifying themselves as a contender. Uh, they kind of beat up on their, their rival in Urbandale. Pleasant Valley, uh, they dropped down uh, uh, three spots after losing to Iowa City West. Uh, Southeast, Polk, um, uh, Southeast Polk at number nine. <clears throat> at number 10, Ankeny. Uh, Ankeny jumps up a couple spots after beating Valley. Waukee uh, d- drops a spot after beating Des Moines Roosevelt. Iowa City High uh, obviously fell to Linmar. Then you got Cedar Falls, uh, Prairie, Waukee, Northwest. All three of those teams did not move from last week in terms of their rankings. They hang on right there. And then Sioux City East is your new team uh, at number 16. Uh, they beat Ames last week. They jump into the rankings at number 16. We went on to class 4A, where we have a new number one. Uh, we pulled it last night, and uh, I, I guess I haven't looked at who who the vote-getting winner was, but really doesn't matter because Pella is your new number one team in class 4A. Uh, no one, None of these undefeated really jumped each other. They all just slotted up. So uh, this is the arrangement they were in last week. Uh, Lewis Central loses, obviously, obviously to Norwalk. And, uh, yeah, everyone else kind of slots up. Pella at number one. Uh, Decor at number two after a nice win over Washington Dubuque, and then North Polk at number three after a dominant win over Boone. Lewis Central hangs on there at number four. ADM at number five after beating Indianola. North Scott at number six after beating Clinton. Waverly Shell Rock at number seven after beating Waterloo East, and then Norwalk. Uh, there they are. They jump up five spots after beating Lewis Central. Uh, Gilbert also jumps up a, a good amount after getting a nice win over Newton. They've got Pella this week in what should be a big one. Clear Creek Amana, uh, new to the rankings and in the top 10 uh, at number 10. They get a huge win over Xavier to keep their playoff hopes alive. Uh, there is uh, Xavier at number 11. At number 12, Washington Dubuque, who fell. Newton fell at number th- uh, 13. Ballard gets a win uh, there at number 14. They won that game on a Thursday. Indianola at number 15, who fell to ADM. And then Spencer uh, beats Storm Lake. They are your number 16 team in Class 4A. We'll move on to Class 3A. 
as I get this pulled up. A lot of movement here. Uh, a lot of movement besides what I believe is the top two. We have movement in every single spot. Uh, Williamsburg and Waller hang on to number one and two. Humboldt, what a win over Clear Lake. Uh, they they jump up a spot to number three. Mount Vernon gets a nice win as well. SBL with uh, what might be the one of the week after beating Heelan and what was what, what am I what might have been the game of the week? I should have said uh, huge playoff implications there. Sergeant Both Luton wraps up that district. Algona. Man, gutsy performance. Nathan Mansky comes in at quarterback, rallies Algona after being down. Uh, they beat Webster City in a huge win to to solidify themselves. Uh, it's going to be fun to follow them going forward. Uh, Independence gets a win over West Delaware. That's a nice win for Indy uh, as they jump to number seven. Healing at number eight, still contending even though after the loss, SBL. Solon at number nine. Benton at number 10, uh, Nevada at number 11 after beating Creston for the district title. Clear Lake at number 12. At number 13, you got Harlan and then Carol, Grinnell, and West Delaware all wrapping up uh, the top 16 in Class 3A. Move on to Class 2A where a little bit of the a different story, not, mu- not much movement here. In fact, the top nine spots in Class 2A remain unchanged from last week. Clarenda at number 10 is your first change. West Burlington at number 11. North Fight Valley at number 12. Animosa. Got to give you, got to tip your hat to Animosa, man. Uh, they uh, shut out Northeast 41 to nothing in what was a ranked versus ranked pretty big game. Uh, and they get the win. Uh, and solidify that district. Uh, really, really nice win for Animosa as they head into the postseason. Northeast at number 14. Uh, they still got a playoff game to play and, you know, bounce back for West Marshall, number 15. And then Okaboji, uh, they enter your rankings at number 16 and they will be there for the time being. Um, yeah. We want to class 1A where we've got some movement inside the top 10. Uh, Dyke New Hartford up to number two. MFO Marmac up to number three. Obviously, Grundy Center picked up uh, another win over Hudson there, just rolling into the postseason. Uh, Trainer at number four after beating Missouri Valley. Sigourney Kyoto just beats up on Eddieville, Blakesburg, Fremont. Woodward Granger gets a win over West Central Valley. A lot of teams in the top 10 kind of cruising, but the big one was Regina Catholic getting a win over Wilton, bouncing back after their loss to Beckman Catholic. Really nice win for the Regals uh, going into postseason play. I know they still have to go on the road. I believe they go to Pleasantville off the top of my head. I'm kind of thinking about going to that one, if I'm being totally honest. That seems like a fun one. And I haven't filmed too much Class 1A football this year. so uh, but, but we'll see. That's not for sure. Don't, 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 don't take my word for that quite yet. I'm still debating. Uh, again, well, at number 8, uh, after Regina beats them and slots up to number 7, Emmitsburg, that's another one. Manson, Northwest Webster, way down there at 16. Knocks off Emmitsburg. Uh, that's a pretty big one, folks, uh, ac- especially across the class 1A scene. Out of nowhere, the Cougars come down and and, and beat the number two team uh, in the class. Really nice showing for Manson Northwest Webster going into the postseason. That's a lot of momentum. They got to feel good heading into these one and done situations. Uh, anyways, they're down there at 16. At 10, South Harden remains unchanged. Hinton gets a nice win over West Sioux. OABCAG over Lawton Bronson. Uh, HSCW over Shenandoah, Underwood over Red Oak, and then Beckman Catholic over Cascade. Uh, so besides a few big games, uh, nothing too crazy in Class 1A. As we move on to Class A, uh, where there really was not much movement, uh, the big one was Bellevue uh, beating North Lynn. Bellevue jumps up five spots and goes to number 10. Besides that, I mean, the top nine remain unchanged. All all pickup wins, ACGC, West Hancock, Lisbon, all the way down to Maquoketa Valley, who got a really nice win over Starman. I do want to shout that one out. Um, but besides that, a lot, of, a lot of chalk in this class. Earlham barely hangs on over South Central Calhoun. That's probably why they drop a few spots. Uh, and Galen Catholic jumps up. Woodbury Central gets a win. Wapsie Valley gets a win over National Plainfield in what was a good game. Uh, and then MMCRU rounds out the top 16. They beat Alta Aurelia. Eight man. There was a big upset in eight man this week as uh, Bell Plain beats Iowa Valley. Didn't see that coming. Uh, New Bell Plain was a good team. Don't get me wrong. But Iowa Valley had been on a roll this year. Uh, and and now here they are falling in the final week. Uh, so Bell Plain kind of has to hop in there at number nine. Iowa Valley slots in right behind them. I know. 
I know uh oh, running out of, running low on a on a storage. You gotta hurry this one up. I know Montezuma beat Bell playing, but there's that weird kind of three way where, where all three teams beat each other, so it's kinda weird. But besides that, nothing too crazy uh, in an eight man. I'm going to wrap up here so I don't run out of storage. Uh, be sure to tune in. Uh, I think I'm going to get a show out tomorrow, some sort of playoff content, whether I'm like ranking the, the favorite games or or kind of, you know, running through them and, and giving you what I think. Uh, but, yeah, that's all. Appreciate y'all. Share this with a friend. Share this with a teammate. Playoff season, IA football. We, you got you covered. Tons of stuff coming your way. Uh, appreciate it, and I'll catch you next time.